Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, and today we're covering how to test and check your furnace blower motor. In cold climates like Canada, there's nothing worse than a failed furnace motor in the middle of the night. Or worse, frozen pipes bursting while you're on vacation. We'll cover what causes furnace motors to fail and how to fix it. At eMotors Direct, our goal is to make finding your motor replacement stress-free. There are so many different types of furnace motors out there, and because a lot of them have been discontinued, it can be difficult to find the exact right replacement. If you're ready to replace your furnace motor, give our team a call. We're here to help. So, what caused your furnace motor to fail in the first place? Furnace motors can fail due to overheating, excess moisture, debris buildup, rust, or simply because it's worn out over time. But how long should a furnace blower motor last? Furnace motors are typically designed to last as long as your furnace. But I've seen these motors last less than 10 years if they're not maintained properly. How do you know that your furnace motor has failed or is about to fail? As the blower motor begins to wear out, it has a difficult time pushing air through the system. This could also be caused by clogged ducts or a dirty air filter. So those parts should be checked as well. You'll notice higher energy bills, the blower motor is the highest consumer of energy in the furnace system, so it will consume extra energy to do the same job if it's wearing out. Your circuit breaker keeps tripping, either because the capacitor is bad and needs replacement or the motor's seized. If you can smell burning when you have your heat on, this is usually due to the motor overheating and the windings burning up. You may also get a burning smell upon first startup in the fall. This is from any dust that may have settled on the motor over the summer. If the smell persists past the first startup, the smell is worth looking into further. If you hear squealing or screeching, the bearings have likely worn down. If you hear rattling or clanking, there could be broken parts banging around in the motor or fan wheel. And if you hear banging, call an HVAC technician ASAP. I get this question a lot. Can a furnace blower motor be repaired? It depends on what caused the motor to fail in the first place. If the issue is the bearings or the capacitor, these are easy fixes. If the issue is the voltage or amperage, you may be looking at a full replacement. Let's go through my checklist to test your furnace motor. First, check the capacitor. If the capacitor is failing, the motor will be slow to start, won't start, or you'll hear a constant buzzing while the motor's operating. Changing the capacitor is straightforward. Visit emotorsdirect.ca to order a capacitor replacement for your specific motor. And check out my capacitor video for a step-by-step -step guide on how to test and replace your capacitors. Next, check the power supply to the motor. Is the correct voltage reaching the motor? Using a multimeter, check the voltage at the control board, at the outlet, and at the transformer. Confirm the incoming power, outgoing power, and the power to the motor are correct. For basic troubleshooting, make sure the input and the outbound of the board are the correct voltage. You'll do this with a multimeter. The correct voltage should be on the furnace nameplate. If you find the incoming or outgoing power to your board is incorrect, contact an HVAC technician to fix the problem. They'll typically replace the board if they think the motor is fine. Next, check the amperage drawn from the motor. If you have a clamp-on meter, check what the amperage draw should be. It'll be stamped on the motor or the motor nameplate. If the amperage draw is too high, the motor has already started failing and should be replaced. The motor may be shorted internally or the bearings could be tight, putting too much load on the motor. Next, check the motor windings. Using a multimeter, check the resistance between each speed wire and the common ground. The resistance should be zero at each speed. Check out our full tutorial on checking motor windings for more in-depth guide. Lastly, you could check the motor bearings. Rotate the motor shaft. The movement should be smooth. If the rotation is too loose, wobbly, grinding, or stuck, the bearings have likely failed, and the bearings or the full motor should be replaced. If you decide to replace the bearings, check out our full tutorial here, and visit emotorsdirect.ca to order your bearing replacement. If you do end up needing to replace the furnace motor, the cost will likely range from $100 to $600, depending on the type of motor. A high-end furnace or extra-large unit may cost upwards of $1,500. I hope this tutorial helps keep your home warm over the cold months. Have follow-up questions? Chat with our technical experts for advice on your furnace motor. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's electric motor supplier. 
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.